Hello and welcome to video 5 in this mini crash course on the basics of music theory. Now this section has been broken down into two videos. This video will focus on the most common and popular chords and the next video will focus on the common but less popular chords. So in this video we'll be going through the circle of thirds and major and minor chords. So let's get started. Firstly, what are chords in music? Now chords are two or more harmonic notes played simultaneously. But what do I mean by harmonic notes? Harmonic notes in music theory are notes that move between sounds of consonant, relaxed and dissonant, tense. Notes played in harmony sound pleasing to the ear. However, we can also use them to create tension and unease. The most common chords in music are built using three notes. So let's go through the different types of chords and how they are built. So what type of chords are there? Chords are named and defined by their root notes and their prefix. Now the prefix is defined by the music intervals used between each note in the chord. So let's crack down on the details. Triad chords, circle of thirds. A triad is a three note chord that is built on the circle of thirds. And the circle of thirds apply to major and minor scales and is built by entering the major or minor scale in a 1, 3, 5, 7, 2, 4, 6 format. Each number corresponds to its position in the scale, its scale degree. Now our example is A major. We now build the chords by using three notes in a sequence clockwise from each other. So for example, for an A chord, you'd use A, C sharp and E. For the B chord, you'd use B, D and F sharp. C sharp chord, you'd use C sharp, E and G sharp. And so on, until in total, you get seven chords. Now, as you may also notice, we skip a letter each time we build a triad chord. This makes it easier identifying enharmonic notes. So for example, A, C sharp and E wouldn't be written as A, D flat and E because we don't skip one letter for each note. Therefore, we have to phrase the middle note as a C sharp. And the first note in the chord is known as the root. The middle note is known as the third and the last is known as the fifth. So here we have the full list of chords for the A major scale. So now we know the name of the chord is defined by its root, but how do we define its prefix? We are going to go through the basic types of triad prefixes. These are major and minor, and we go through diminish and augmented in the next video. So let's start with major chords. Major chords create happy sounds and are used to create an airy, carefree atmosphere in music. For the triad to be labelled as a major chord, it will have a major third and a perfect fifth above the root. To find out if it is a major third, you'll need to use the music interval pattern for the major scale. And if it's a major third note, it will have an interval two whole tones from the root note. And a perfect fifth means that it is seven semitones above the root. So here's A as an example. As we can see, A to C sharp is two whole tones, or four semitones, away from A, and E is seven semitones away from A. This means A, C sharp, and E is a major chord. So let's listen to the A major chord. The major chord formula is R3-5, which means a root, a third, and the fifth of a major scale. 
Now, a major chord is written with just its root note. Therefore, a major would be written as A. So let's move on to minor chords. Minor chords sound grim and are used to create a sense of sadness in music. For a triad to be labelled as a minor chord, it will have a minor third and a perfect fifth above the root. To find out if it's a minor third, you'll need to use a music interval pattern for the minor scale. So if it's a minor third, it will have an interval of one and a half whole tones or three semitones from the root note, which is a single semitone less than the major chord. A perfect fifth is seven semitones above the root. So here's A, again an, an example. So C is three semitones away from the A and E is seven semitones away from the A. This means A, C and E is a minor chord. Let's listen to A minor. The only difference between a major and a minor chord is that the third note in the minor chord is one semitone lower than the third in the major chord. So let's listen to both chords side by side. We call that middle note that's been flattened a flat third. So the minor chord formula is root, flat third and fifth. Because the third note is one semitone lower than the note from the major chord. So a minor chord is written with its root note plus min or min or just a single lowercase m afterwards. Therefore, A minor will be written as A min or A M. So that completes video five in this mini crash course on basic music theory. And I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, please give me a beautiful thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you do have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. And when you're ready, click on the next video in the series where we continue to learn about chords, the basics, part two.